sacked Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Gladys Chalet, has maintained that the judiciary did not lose any money when she was in charge. Chalet has hit out at the Judicial Service Commission for conducting what she called kangaroo investigations and for being biased against her. While terminating her services on Friday, the Willy Mutunga-led JSC said Chalet had admitted to 33 charges leveled against her. But as Ben Kitili reports, Chalet says that is a white lie. In the latest episode of a feud that has bedeviled the judiciary for weeks now, Gladys Shalea has accused the Judicial Service Commission of wrongfully dismissing her. The JSC announced on Friday that it had terminated Shalea's services and now she has sought to punch holes in the JSC's disciplinary process. The JSC never heard me. I never got an opportunity to present my oral presentation. When we went to JSC last week with my lawyer, we raised a few preliminary issues. The first one was on jurisdiction. Chile criticized the JSC probe, terming it kangaroo investigations. Prior to Friday's ruling by the JSC, Chile's lawyer had raised various issues, including her right to be heard publicly and to produce witnesses. Chile had also challenged the commission's ability to determine her fate fairly. All requests, she says, were rejected. It is common knowledge that there are four members of the Judicial Service Commission who have patent bias against me. We ask them, can these four people recluse themselves from this process since they are already biased? And remember, the law is clear. The bias doesn't have to be real. I just have to be apprehensive, and that is sufficient. Again, they declined to recluse themselves. She admitted to 33 allegations in which Kenya shillings 1.7 billion of taxpayer funds are at risk. While dismissing her Friday, the JSC announced that she had admitted to 33 charges leveled against her and denied 38 others. Chalet has rubbished those reports. Look at my final report. It's in black and white. The media has been in possession of it for weeks. I have never admitted to any single charge. For the Chief Justice to say that and the JSC, it is dishonest. The Willy Mutunga-led commission also said that charges against Chalet had led to the siphoning of 2.2 billion shillings from the judiciary's coffers. The former chief registrar has also refuted those claims, saying the judiciary did not lose any money while she was in charge. If they remove me based on due process, I have no problem. But when they break the law, and not just anybody else breaking the law, the judiciary, with very senior government uh, uh, officials in the legal system, in that meeting is wrong. It cannot be allowed. The sacked chief registrar insists she has a right to appeal the decision, which she says was not unanimous. She remains remains noncommittal on her next much. course of action. And in a quick rejoinder, the JSC issued a statement condemning Chalet's press briefing, accusing her of distorting facts and misinforming the public. The commission says it will post its findings on the allegations against Chalet, as well as her responses on the judicial website on Tuesday. The JSC has warned that it has only completed internal disciplinary processes and that there will be further investigations on Chalet. The judiciary waters continue to get murkier following Friday's sacking of Gladys Chalet as the administrative boss of the judiciary. She has now denied admitting to any charges leveled against her. Did the Judicial Service Commission lie? Now this comes against the backdrop of a new storm in Parliament aimed at disbanding the JSC. Ben Kitili, KTN, Nairobi.